This episode of Tap Rack Bang is brought to you by Mod Armory. Hey guys, on Quick Tips today, we're going to be looking at how to make your own decision targets. All right, so all you guys have seen all these different uh, decision type targets, and they've got all types of different colors and shapes and numbers or letters. Every different big name instructor now has their own decision targets. And you basically call out a number, a letter, a shape, and whatever drill you're doing, you would shoot a certain number of rounds in those targets. So you're, you're having to not only shoot accurately, but you're also having to decide where are my targets. I'm going to have to identify target and decide whether that's a shoot or no shoot target. So those are really great. We love to use those in our training. The big problem with them is most of them are on paper, which is very flimsy. It's going to blow around a lot if it's windy at the range. Um, and they're always the same. So we get used to shooting at the same spot. So when I call red, after a while, I know my reds are here and here. My twos are here and here. My yellows are there. So what we're going to do is show you how to make your own decision targets so you can change it up when you get out to the range. What I like to use is just a standard IPSC target. You. Most of you who are shooting competitively are very familiar with these. I shoot these primarily because they're so wind resistant. When I put them up, it's going to be a lot more sturdy than a paper target, and I can reuse them over and over and over again by using pasters on them. So we're going to take a standard IPSC target, and we're just going to take a ruler or um, some type of circles. I use uh, like tape, or we can use coffee lids, spray paint cap lids, and we're going to put some different shapes on here, and that way when we go out to the range, we can color our targets. So I've got one that I've made up, and this is one we use all the time out at the range, and I basically just laid it out on the back here. I've got the three larger circles. I believe these are about three and a half to four inch. I've got a couple of the smaller circles, We've got different sizes of triangles, and I've got a couple of rectangle boxes. You can use squares, whatever. Up here at the top, I used a little bit extra tape to put on top of there just to stiffen it up a little bit. And you can just use your imagination. This is what I like to use, but you can use anything you want. If you want to cut out numbers, however you want to do it. Now what we're going to do, and you can see on the other side, we've just spray painted these in. I've got another one that I like to use is just a negative space target. So I just overlay that over another target, and then I spray paint it black or blue or whatever color we want, and we'll get that color on there. Then when I pull it off, we've got a negative A zone area. So when we're shooting, we've got a darker spot where our bullets are going through, so we're not as focused on that, and we can do it in both spots there. Uh, use your imagination, guys. Let's go out to the range, and let's take a look at how we can use these in shooting some drills. Hey guys, so we're out here at the range now. We've got our template. I'm going to use one that I really like. I've got all my shapes and sizes on here. I've used this one quite a bit. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to place this on our target and we're going to make up our own decision target. Um, that way we can place these wherever we want. We can do different color shapes wherever we want to go. So whether you want to just lay it over the top and spray whichever colors you want where, or you can kind of lay it out wherever you like. We're going to do a little bit of... Uh, decorative layout here. I've got, I like to use primary colors. I've got blue, red, and yellow. I tend to see that they come out better and for first starting out, my mind's going to recognize those colors a little more. Once we get want to get a little more challenging, then we're going to go to some different greens and subdued colors. So first of all, we're going to take, and I like to put a circle right here in the middle. Just a real light coat will do it. You don't need much. And then we're going to go maybe a blue triangle up here. And how about a blue circle at the bottom? All right, so I've got all my blues in there. Let's throw some red in. Let's do a red triangle up here on the head. Okay, so we've got those, and then let's throw in a little bit of yellow. How about we do this way? We can turn these whichever direction we want. Yellow takes a little more to cover up there. And do a small yellow circle here. And I think that's probably about good. We don't want to clutter up our target too much. So anything we want, 
we can put on there. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight targets on there now. All fairly decent size. We're gonna go grab our guns, make them hot, and let's we'll take a look at how we can shoot this. Shooter ready? Ready. Stand by. Red. Shooter ready. Stand by. Circles. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, keep your blade sharp and your powder dry. We'll see you at the range. Hey everybody and thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate all you guys checking out our last couple of videos. Make sure that you head over to our YouTube page, taprackbang.tv, and make sure you subscribe to that so we can make sure we're giving you guys the best quality content that we can.